gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Coco's Nurses class. So, uh, I know you've been viewing my videos, so I would like also to add one more today. So today I would like to add, um, you know, this very important thing about diabetes mellitus. So when you look at diabetes mellitus, I'm sure most of you know the condition. Um, it's commonly known as a sugar disease. So I would like to discuss um, the pen flex or the flex pen. The flex pen or the pen flex, this is um, some technology that has come whereby you you give maybe a traveler to be moving with, with insulin without putting in the fridge and just moving with it in the bag and you're able to inject as you travel. So I'll show you the, the use of the flex pen and maybe even the advantages as compared to the one we use the needle and uh, maybe the insulin in the bottle. Okay, so let's try to see what I mean by flex pen. Okay. So, this is what I'm talking about. This is the flex pen, okay? And then this is the ordinary, ordinary um, injection that we have. And then maybe this is the insulin. So some people will be moving with insulin, just like that. And then uh, this actrophin, insulin, okay? People will be moving with it, okay? So what happens is that most people would be moving with this set while they're traveling. And then you'll be able to uh, withdraw from there uh, using this uh, needle and syringe, the one mil needle or 100 units needle and syringe. Okay, so now the issue is that when traveling, this should be in the fridge, but then you know, imagine you don't have a fridge and you can't travel with a fridge, of course. Maybe you're using ice packs to travel, but then what happens with the flex pen is that you don't need to move with ice packs, you don't need to move with any uh, of those. Okay, just need to move with it, it's more like a pen. So what happens with this is that as you move with it, you'll be able to know that uh, it contains insulin inside. So let's try to see. This is a stopper. You can remove, okay? And then as you see there, there's that whitish stuff, okay? So the whitish liquid there is insulin already, okay? So insulin has been pre-packed here. So you just have to be uh, injecting yourself. So it's been pre-packed already. And you have to just inject yourself. Then how does this work? So most people would, um, you know, wonder how this pen works. So the flex pen, how it works is that it has this part here. Okay, this is a pointer to regulate how much insulin should be given. Then this is more like a counter here where you see the number zero. It's a counter. So this counter, you know, will give um, according to what the doctors prescribed for you. Say, for example, the doctors prescribed that you inject about uh, 10 units in the morning. So how would you select 10 units? Just rotate this like that. So it's giving you, that's four, then that's six, that's uh, eight, then that's 10. So some maybe in the morning they inject a higher dose. So they would go on until maybe you get to 20 units. So it will go and it's measured already in units. So it will give you 20 units. So that's how you adjust this. Then. People would be wondering, since the insulin is inside there, so you can easily uh, roll like this to mix it. Don't shake. Just uh, roll it like this to mix the insulin, okay, nicely. So this comes in as mixed art. It will have long acting and short acting. That's, that's the advantage with this um, insulin here. It will have short acting and long acting. So just remove the stopper now. So when you remove the stopper, this is the stopper, okay? So when you remove the stopper, you'll be able to note that there is a small needle there, okay? There's a needle. I'm sure it's very thin, but I'm sure I can be able to see. So let me do this so that you're able to see. So you can see there is a needle. So that needle is very small, and it's meant for subcut. So when injecting that, you don't need to start maybe bending the needle like this to search for subcut. What you need to do is it's been measured. Just go 90 degrees on the tummy. Okay, if you're injecting on the tummy, but you have to remove the clothes, of course, you have to go straight 90 degrees. Then when you start injecting, what will be happening is that if you have measured 20, now for demonstration purposes, 20 is too much. So let's just uh, reduce. We go to something smaller. Okay, so uh, when you go maybe to 6, then you start injecting. Maybe you set it at 6. Okay. Uh, you just press here. This is more like a button here. 
that's what you press so when you push it in you prick that's it will go straight the needle will go straight into the subcut then you start pushing so as you start pushing check out the counter the counter is reducing then as you can see there are drops of insulin there so that's what happens the counter is reducing because you're pressing the stopper and then these there are drops of insulin so as that happens it will go to zero so if it goes to zero meaning that the required dose has been injected so patients will find it easy because they just have to set what has been prescribed if it's 10 in the evening 10 units in the evening you just go to 10 units in the evening and jab just by pressing there so you don't need to stress about uh, how much to inject okay and then when the needle is blunt what they do is mostly patients are given extra so you just have to unscrew here and put a new needle okay so that's that needle you can remove it by unscrewing here so you put a new one that's what happens so this is um, advantageous because patients don't need to stress and uh, mostly you'd find that this is not painful and they can travel with it without any stress i like traveling with this uh, 100 units uh, uh, syringe and needle this works the same but then you need to travel with the drug okay like that so and then the drug has to be kept in a, a cool place meaning you need to move with ice packs now if you look at ice packs so stressful and all that but this you can move with it just in a bag it has insulin insulin already it even has a needle already attached to it and it's very easy to instruct patients to use so uh, for diabetes mellitus i think this is a uh, very good and it's a very good technology so let's try to use uh, this advanced technology so because this helps us to really work well and you won't miss a dose by by doing this it's, it's not painful and obviously you know that uh, you'll be able to move with a pen and it has everything so um what i can say is that um, you just need to give iec to the patients and also encourage them to use the flex pen I, I know it may be expensive, maybe, but uh, most NIMA or those uh, facilities which provide uh, the services might have uh, for free. So thank you very much, and just let's try to give IC. Okay, later.